So this will not be a complete unboxing of this doll. It just is just I'm just gonna double check to make sure everything's okay with her before I put her under the tree. I got her from when I want to bid on won the bidding on eBay. And she's a Robert Toner doll. My husband told me to go ahead and open this doll up. He said, because <clears throat> there was a big sale going on at AliExpress, and I bought some dolls from there. He said those would be my Christmas present, and I could go ahead and open this one up. So I'm going to go ahead and get her out of the box. So I want her on eBay auction. Kind of shocked. I thought for sure that someone was going to come in on the last minute and outbid me. But it did not happen. And I did not go with an Ella one Wild. They were outside my budget at this time. I tried to bid on a couple of them, but so this one is new in box. I'm just going to say just because it's new in box does not mean that it will be perfect. And I got her new in box just because she was within my price range. So she is Euphema from the Cinderella collection. I think I already said that. And she was basically tied in. Here, I'll do a close up on her face. Look at her hair. It's done up in a bun. And if you watch Karen Stretch and Stitches, she did a Ellen Wynn Wild unboxing. And her hair was done up too. And I'm just going to leave this like this for now. I'm not going to mess around with it. So she's wrapped up in plastic on her arms. And I got this style to create for her, so I'm taking him, you know, taking her out of the box. Fingernails are painted. Articulation at the elbows. She's very stiff. Off it snapped. In the back. Hair feels nice. To her legs, there's little rubber bands around her ankles. Maybe she has heeled feet. Yes. Feet, I am mean, going to save all the wrapping and I will save her box. She does come with a stand and shoes. Basic white shoes. I don't know if her knees bend. Oh, they do. Nice. Do 
joints are stiff. This one. Yes. Side to side. A little bit up, up and down. Nice. Carefully take her shoes out. Your felt shoes, white felt shoes. Basic white slippers. Her toenails are done too. I should show you those. How the shoes go on. Just have pierced earrings, pierced ears. Sorry, not pierced earrings, pierced ears. We'll be leaving that bun, like I said. I'm not going to be touching that. Let's see how she stands. Her stand. Bottom part of the stand, it's acrylic base. Part of the stand. a little bit more, I think. Ooh. 
think that's right or wrong. Again, that's maybe this way. Yes, much better. So height-wise, she's just a little bit over 16 inches, not including her stand. do come out a little bit. I'm not going to press my luck with that. Because you can, I have seen cracked um, shoulders, so the joints are very stiff, which is to be expected. She was in the box. I will be making clothes for her. Just one eyebrow that's slightly arched, but she is not amused. But yeah, I'm very, very happy to have her, and I can't wait to start creating for her. Which, at this point, I think it will probably be way in January sometime before I have the opportunity. But since I have the her basic white dressing, I think I should be able to easily draft a pattern for her clothing wise. And at least the um, pants and possibly shirt and skirt and maybe even shoes. But thank you so much for watching this very um, confusing sort of box opening and have a wonderful day or evening and if you're curious to see what the LOM wild dolls look like please check out Tammy Polly's channel and Karen at starch and stitches